Hello friends! Today we are learning about the purpose of different animal parts. Remember, when you see this image, pause the video to complete the learning activity. This is the first lesson in functions of animal parts. Throughout our lessons, you are going to learn how animals use their different parts to survive, see, hear, grasp objects, move from place to place, protect themselves, and take in food and water. When you finish this series of lessons, you'll earn another badge. We have some very interesting animal parts to explore together, so let's get started. First, let's look at our learning targets, or what you should know and be able to do by the end of today's lesson. Here they are. I can describe the function of parts that help animals survive, and I can draw how I might survive in a hot, cold, or dry climate by mimicking animal structures. In our previous lessons, we learned that when we describe the structure of an animal, we're talking about its parts. Those parts can be many different shapes and sizes, but do you know why animal parts are all so different? It's because each animal structure or part has a special job to do. We call that job its function. We're going to do some drawing today, so before we begin our lesson, you'll need to create a table that looks like this on a piece of paper. To make sure that you have enough space in each box, I'm going to show you a trick. You can fold your paper in half, like this, then fold it in half again. Now when you open it up, you'll have four boxes that are all the same size. Then you'll write one heading in each box. Please pause the video now to create your table and write your headings. Great! Now we're ready to explore some very interesting animals. This is a toucan. While it uses its beak to take in food and water, what's really interesting is that the most important function or job of the toucan's beak is to control and lower its body temperature which is important because the bird lives in a very warm climate. It sends the heat from its body into its beak, and then the heat is released. It's kind of like having an air conditioner built in. Toucans aren't the only animal with structures that help them to cool off in the heat. Have you ever wondered why an elephant's ears are so big? When it's really hot, the elephant can send some of its body heat to its ears and flap them around, which helps it to cool off, much like the function of the toucan's beak. Jackrabbits and fennec foxes live in the desert, and they have large ears to release heat too. The function or job of those animal structures is to keep the animal cool. Let's take a moment to sketch some of the structures that help animals stay cool in very warm climates. In the box with the heading, Cool Off, go ahead and sketch some of the parts that we learned about. I encourage you to add labels to your sketches, so here are the names of each animal if you'd like to write them. You may also want to add some words or phrases that describe the animal parts or their functions. Go ahead and pause the video now. Great! Now let's explore some animals that live in very cold climates. This is an arctic fox. Do you notice how tiny his ears are? That structure allows him to keep warm, and this polar bear's ears are also small and they're covered with fur. Tiny ears help to stop too much heat from leaving their bodies. There are other animal structures that keep them warm too. Seals, walruses, and polar bears all have thick layers of fat called blubber that keep them warm in the icy waters. This arctic wolf has two layers of fur. The first is waterproof, and the outer layer is very thick, and the colder it gets, the thicker the outer layer of fur. It's like being wrapped up in a very cozy, very warm, and very waterproof winter jacket. Let's go back to our table and add some of the structures that help animals survive in cold climates. Here are the names of each one. Go ahead and pause the video now to sketch the structures and add some labels. Super! Now let's take a look at some animals that live in very dry places. 
These animals all have structures that allow them to go for long periods of time without water. Have you ever wondered why camels have humps? The humps are filled with fat, which camels can then use for both food and water when they can't find anything to eat or drink. This Gila monster has a tail that works the same way. It can live for months on the food that's stored in its tail. Have you ever wondered why frogs feel slimy? They breathe through their skin, but for that to happen, their skin needs to be wet. So frogs have skin that creates their own mucus like the stuff that comes out of your nose if you have a cold, or what we might cough up when we're sick. The mucus covers their entire body to keep them wet so they can breathe. The African bullfrog lives where it can get very hot and very dry. So to survive, it burrows into the ground and covers itself with layers of dead skin and mucus that hardens into a cocoon. Then the bullfrog goes into hibernation until rain comes. Cool, right? Let's pause the video again so you can sketch the animal structures that help them survive in areas without much water. Remember to add some labels too. Great! Animals have many different structures or parts that help them to survive. Each part has a special job, and we call that job its function. We learned about animals that survive in very hot, very cold, and very dry climates. You're going to pick one of those three climates and draw yourself with one or more of the animal parts that would help you survive. For example, if you chose a hot climate, you might draw yourself with very big ears or with a large beak like the toucan. Then, draw the habitat around you. I'm putting up some of the images of each habitat to give you some ideas for what you might include. Please pause the video now and have fun. I'll see you when you're done. Great! I wish I could see your drawing. I bet that it looks amazing. Before we finish our lesson, let's review our learning targets. Our first target was, I can describe the function of parts that help animals survive. So, when we talk about animal structures, we're talking about the parts. When we talk about what those parts do, we are talking about their function. So the function of camel humps is to store food and water, and the function of thick fur is to keep an animal warm. Please pause the video now and circle the animal part you most enjoyed learning about today. Great! Before our next lesson, please use your sketches to tell someone about the function of the animal part that you just circled. Our next learning target was, I can draw how I might survive in a hot, cold, or dry climate by mimicking animal structures. What animal structure did you mimic or copy in your drawing? Be sure to have your drawing to share with someone and explain what part you mimicked and why. You've done a great job today. In our next lesson, you'll learn about structures that help animals to see, and there are some wacky parts to learn about. I'll see you soon.